So I just turned the wrong way. I put myself, I think, an hour <laughs> out of where my uh, day's destination is going to be. That's okay. The sights are to die for here. Hope you'll join me. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. Driving, driving, one of my favorite things to do, especially when there's sights to see and photographs to take. Going to be checking out a couple campgrounds in the next few days. I may linger a while or I may just check them out and uh, keep on driving and not solidified the plans yet, but I'm thinking now I may head to Wyoming and to Yellowstone. Bob Wells mentioned on a video one time that Yellowstone is so crowded, and I hear it's even more crowded this year, um, but to drive around the outside of the park is beyond breathtaking. So I'm thinking I might do that little journey and then head to Oregon and Washington. I don't know. I, you know, I pray daily for God's direction. And I want some more photographs of out west. And since I'm in that direction now, or I'm actually there, I might as well keep going. I have a better camera than I did two years ago when I was on this uh, beginning of this journey. So I'd like to get some photographs with my new camera, which is my iPhone 11, by the way. It's not a, it's not a camera by itself. trees just sticking out of the rocks. I think it's one of the most beautiful sights. Looks like rain might be coming in too. Wow, beautiful. Wow, there is quite a few people down there fishing. I had no idea that I would see this today. Yeah, joy in the journey. That's what I say. That's what I do. And that's what I wish for you. Just pulled off the first scenic overlook that was actually marked a scenic overlook. And this is, <laughs> no words, no words. Just rained a little bit. Beautiful overcast here. I just took some old beautiful shots. Wow. That beautiful, beautiful home tucked back there. And all these beautiful, beautiful wildflowers in full bloom. I just turned on to a trail road. And GPS is telling me four miles. I'm not sure. The views are beautiful even in the storm. The rain has stopped as you can see. I'm going back down the hill. I think I turned in the wrong direction, direction about 12 miles. I lost GPS. It seemed like I had it, but yet it was still, I guess it was lagging. I'm just making that up as I go. <laughs> But I don't, it does matter to me. I got some beautiful shots. Had I not taken this detour, I would have never seen that scenic overlook. And now these beautiful, beautiful clouds and the sun is out and the mountains and the trees. Makes me want to move to Colorado and tuck a little tiny cabin in the woods with the bears. Not really. I'm just in awe of the beauty. Even though the windshield is not uh, spotless, I still like to video from the front so you can see 
what I'm looking at as I go down the hill and up the hill. I mean, it's just, just amazing. This is my second time back as a nomad here in Colorado. Went to the Rocky Mountains National Park in Mesa Verde, which are stunning in of themselves. I, I just, and I lived in Denver back in the day. Oh my gosh. And I don't remember just quite like this. I just feel so blessed. Just pulled off. There's no scenic pull off here. It's just scenic. I mean, they'd have to put signs the entire route here. And uh, now that the sun is out, I'm getting some magnificent shots. <laughs> 